And we are live on Spiritual Events Directory page. My name is Michelle Scott, and uh, we've come into a Spiritual Events Directory uh, for the Showcase Your Biz segment. And I am bringing into the space the uh, beautiful, optimistic Xavier. And Xavier is a uh, psychic medium, spiritual mentor, twin flame, energy healer, and massage therapist. And, uh, you know, Showcase Your Biz is all about, uh, you know, you amazing women with uh, a mission in life, a meaningful life, and really so passionate about uh, uh, all things spiritual. So uh, welcome, Xavier. This is your time in the spotlight. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hello, hello. And so we thought we'd start with the question, uh, Xavier, how did you get here? I mean, I'm sure there's a story and a journey in between. We'd love to hear it. <laughs> awesome. All right. So, um, yeah, growing up, I was always interested in spiritual things. And as a teenager, I was given a deck of oracle cards and a um, crystal by a lady who I thought was a bit kooky, but cool. <laughs> Um, now I know I'm like, I'm, one of, I'm just like. <laughs> Someone out there saying the same thing about you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this crazy lady. Yeah, my kids say that, like, you know, about me. Um, but cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I loved it. I used to play with the cards and I used to just, like, shuffle them and redraw them because it didn't make any sense in the book, like, you know, so I didn't know yeah. how to in then. Um, and years, years it went by and I always wanted to do massage therapy because I just, felt drawn to wanted to heal with my hands um wanted to help people when I gave little shoulder massages to my parents friends they always said I was really good with my hands and it was amazing and I should do that when I'm older and so when I finally learned massage um after I had all my kids so it wasn't until I'd had my three children finally got to stop and do some training and something that I wanted to do and then it just opened up from there I started meeting spiritual people some of my teachers were um spiritual not just sports related um even one of the people i did my training course with was a medium who would see spirits and i just started getting into it more again so i was obviously the right class and the right you know i know now that it lines up so um yeah then i met a mentor i went and got a mini reading years ago and then i'd had her card skill and i got drawn to go see her for an appointment and then it all just started from there she was my very first men mentor lynn rivera and fantastic. And I started doing courses of hers to grow my intuition, which was fantastic. Um, and mm. then I realized that I'd always been using some of these um, modalities that I was learning all my life and didn't even realize it. So, that's, yeah. Yeah. So I discovered that, um, you, and you're really just remembering, not just from the current life, things you already know and you don't realize you're doing, but things from past life as well that you've done before. Some things just came naturally. And really mm. other things I thought yeah that's not really for me I'm, that's cool to learn it but I'm not going to probably use that one all the time because it wasn't my favorite or maybe I wasn't as good at that one but other yeah. things I'm really good at so mm. <laughs> that's fantastic and of course we've got um you know Xavier that uh, I know that you uh you know you're so passionate about what you do and you want to be of service to as many souls as, uh, as you can in this lifetime. And of course, past life healing uh, and release is uh, is one of your gifts. Yes, yeah, it's one of my favorite things that I learned. Um, it, yeah, it always has been, because as I was learning past lives, you learn how to release your own first. And so I released many, I visited many of mine. I, I know about a lot of my lives so far, I know about 150 or more. Really? Yeah, there's plenty more, but that's how many I've visited um, and released ones that needed to release. And so I learned a lot about myself and I integrated also when you're learning past life, how to heal past lives, you learn how to release what you don't need and then integrate skills and, and positive things from those experiences into your current life and in your future lives as well. So then my skills have grown over that time as well from pulling things yeah. in. Um, and that's now what I do for others instead of just myself. So I had to heal a lot and go through. Yeah. Anyone knows that growing spiritual growth is really messy. So been through a lot of um, yeah. healing this life as well in the process of healing all those things. And that's why I love helping others with that mm -hmm. too. So you don't need to dwell on whatever the past lives were. Just clear them and get it, get it done so you can move on and be focused on your path now without any old karma in the way anymore. 
Yeah. yeah, I love it. And uh, and I'd love you to walk us through because you and I have talked about this, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it before and um, and I love your process. So uh, you've also got the theatre healing as well. Yes, that's another um, modality some people may have heard of before, but it's a little bit unique. It's one that I, I learned. Um, it's not one that I can teach because I'm not a teacher for it, but it's just a different way of tapping in and I find it really quick and effective. So I do do things like chakra balancing and stuff and that and explaining it all, but theatre healing does things like quicker. Um, I go into the theatre state. If I'm in person, I'll be holding your hands and connecting with you so that you're in my space and protected. And I go up um, into the theatre state, which is like in between meditation and sleep. And just and connect to go right up into source. And I have to, you have certain words that you need to say to do it properly. Um, and this is a great modality for clearing. So a lot of some people cut cords, and I find this is way more effective um, yeah. and complete without having to redo it. It helps to cancel any contracts you've made with people that you no longer need. So if you've got people from your past that you know, imagine. You're going to a party, you know, if you're allowed out of your house. <laughs> you're going to a party and there's going to be people there from your past, your present, and you think, oh, my gosh, if they're there, I just don't want to I just don't want to be there. Those kind of people that you just don't want to face, they're the ones that are great to cancel the contract source. We cancel them, return soul fragments that they've picked up with yours and you picked up with this back to each other after they've been cleansed. Um, it also shows me how many lives usually need clearing that you've had with that person, which is really just interesting. Yeah. So we all the past ones, so nothing else is left. It's a quick version. It's like doing past lives as well, but it's a quicker version for you in this life. Um, it can also help change um, and, and correct your DNA if that's something your higher self tells me is allowed to be healed. Um, we can even turn back the biological clock to make you younger. It's lots of really yeah. cool things there. Um, what else? Oh, love it. If you've got beliefs that aren't healthy about yourself, like you put your down or say some things that aren't very helpful we go through those get it out of system i cancel doing the theater healing and then we put new fears in to counteract them it's it's because it makes it way more effective than just giving yourself some positive mantras and saying them we actually take them out of your subconscious and your energy and then put the new ones in so it makes it a whole lot easier just to get on with it and it actually changes it's just it's just really strong and effective it's great yeah yeah i love that i love how you said um you know, old, uh, old beliefs. Uh, what about patterns and programs? You know, um, yes. we all know that we have a certain way of, uh, of being in different, uh, yeah, in different situations with different people. So, you know, you can just get triggered all the time in that same way. Yeah. Like, like, for example, um, a common with mums is maybe you don't feel like you're a good, good enough at it or something. So it might be like, okay, we're going to clear the belief of I'm not good enough in general, or I'm not a good mum. I am, I'm old or I'm I'm too tired or I never have energy or I don't have motivation, those kind of things. We clean yeah. it, say things like that to ourselves. We don't even realise how much we say them. And some of them just stem from your childhood even and you start believing those things. So we clear them out and we put in new things like um, I am a good mother, I am beautiful, I can do anything I put my mind to, I'm motivated, I'm reliable, like lots of things, whatever you want to be. We put them in and it just changes your life. It's fantastic. Oh. I love it. I love it. I'm going to read out, uh, you know, some of uh, some of the other other uh, uh, things that uh, are part of your gifts that are in your uh, beautiful big uh, healing kit there of course you've got the spiritual uh, mentoring we're going to talk about your spiritual uh, mentoring uh, a program in a, a moment but you know you uh, you like to help children and teens helping them grow into well-adjusted uh, adults you also uh, we've talked about uh, you know changing the way that uh, the way that we think but you can also do uh, you know work with abundance and manifesting the work-life uh, balance and of course healing from addictions and I thought um, I'd love to hear that uh, I'd love our audience to hear the story of um, the past life and uh, the little boy who uh -huh. was uh, afraid of water. You love that story it's a good one isn't it? <laughs> but it's good I love to share it because it gives a really good example of how effective a past life healing can be for real things that are happening in your life now and everybody's different um, but this I'd been doing some children's meditation classes at a market and a mother had brought her son, son along. So they met me and of course, obviously they were meant to meet me that day because, um, and she was very pregnant, <laughs> due yeah. in 
it was about a week later that she called me from her house because um, she knew she wasn't able to breastfeed and they were cleaning bottles, getting them ready and sterilise her. And her little son was, uh, he's about four at the time, and he was up on a step helping her wash the bottles. And as they're washing them, all of a sudden he just looks at her and says, I remember doing these for my babies that died. And she was like, what? Oh, okay. That's odd. Right. And she didn't yeah. even know and asked him about it because she was just a bit stunned and thought it was a bit heavy. <laughs> oh, okay. And they just kept washing the bottles. But then she rang me and said, I remember you mentioning past lives and I'm wondering if there's something that needs healing before the baby comes. She was a bit worried about, you know, is he going to have issues with the baby or is he going to be too clinging or anything like that? Um, and come up at that time in his life. So I went over there and usually if I'm seeing a client, especially if they're an adult, I'll talk them through everything I'm seeing and they lay down and relax. I just, how I see the past life and everything. But for him, because he's only little, I just let him play his iPad. I just put my hand on his back. I asked his permission, of course. And um, I said, I'm just going to do some meditating, if that's all right. And he was happy with that. And then I saw the past life unfold and I kept it to myself instead of relaying it. So I had to do a little bit different, but universe tells me how to think of my feet and how you adapt for each person, different kinds of people, people with ADD, all different things. So I relayed it back to the parents after away from him. So what happened in the past life was it was in the days where I don't always get the years and stuff, but it was, yeah, you can get the gist of when it was days of when um, if anybody had any kind of mental condition, it'd be very common that they get put in an institution and be zapped and, and not in a you know, good way. There's healthy ways to do that now, but not in a cool way. Um, jackets and all that kind of stuff. They're just vegetable. So his wife in that, in that life had um, mental issues and everyone was giving him advice that he, that he should put her there. And he's like, no, no, I'm not doing that to my wife. No way. I can manage it. We'll look at, I'll look after her. She's fine. Um, and in that life, they had um, two, a toddler, like about a one-year-old toddler and then little babies, new babies as well. So three children. Um, and he came home from work one day and she's just sitting in the kitchen. He said, where are the babies? And this is a, a bit sad. So sorry if this triggers anything for anybody. Um, but, and she didn't say anything. And then he's run out the back instinctively. And then there's a river behind it. Around in the river. So I was, of course, I didn't repeat any of that to the child because that was a bit shocking. I did the clearing and I thought, goodness, you know, I'm, um, fear of, of the baby, something might happen to the baby and he might be overprotective of his sister when she comes along or something. I wasn't sure what it might be. So I cleared it all, um, helped download the knowledge because in that life um, he was a doctor, I believe. And then when I was explaining that to the mum, she just burst into tears and said, that's amazing because he's actually scared of water. And so it was not what I was expecting. I didn't know he was four years old. Of course, he didn't have baths and things. We have to sponge bathe him because he won't get in the bath. He won't have a shower. He doesn't swim or anything. He's just scared of the water, which made sense because that had stuck with him, obviously. And sometimes we have fears and we don't understand where they might come from. And so she had no idea why he would be scared of water. He didn't have anything happen to him when he was younger than four. So the amazing part was that it was a really quick turnaround because after after that, after I left, I a message later that day, that night, just I showed a picture of him on his stomach on the floor in the kitchen, pretending to swim, telling her she want, he wanted swimming lessons. <laughs> and she was shocked. That was so cool. And then um, it was a little while after that, I, I can't remember how long, but then she posted a photo on Facebook of him in a bubble bath um, tagging me and it thanking me and she's saying to her friends if any of you anyone who knows him knows who's been scared of the water and look he's having a bubble bath thank you very much to Xavier for your help uh, which was so cool <laughs> so so cool and of course testament to uh you know if uh you know if we are spiritual beings living a human incarnation and we have that belief that uh you know in reincarnation and that we keep coming back to uh, to evolve and to grow uh, et cetera, then we have lived other lifetimes. And if it's like this lifetime where we're picking up, you know, we're learning lots, but we're also picking up lots. And uh, so it makes sense that we bring some fear and we bring some stuff. So it's so cool that uh, you can go into theatre healing or past life um, healing yes. and you can remove it all for us in uh, one fell swoop. And then we can, uh, you know, get on and do 
uh, whatever it is that we need to do in this lifetime. So, Xavier, you know, with everything that you've done, as you said, you've gotten to be, uh, you know, it's, it's become a gift for you because you've because you've been through the work. So, you know, you've done past life work on yourself. You've done a lot of healing and growing and developing yourself. What what lessons have you learned? What lessons have you learned along the way? How long do we have? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, my goodness. Um, well, one of them I learned, because I used to hear, you know, psychics, for example, always like natural born psychics and have been doing it, or fifth generation psychics or something like that. So what I did learn is that, you can learn how to grow your abilities and things later in life, like I did. Um, and it's you get what you're ready for. So I learned, I learned more. I've learned more in the ten years, I suppose, since I really started, less than ten years, um, than some do in their lifetime if they've been doing this stuff since they were six years old. Because I not only have I done the classes and I've learned and remembered how to do things, but then I'm also getting downloads, as I call it, from the source rather than the internet. Um, while I'm working, I've learned things. It's just come to me and show me how to do things and then I incorporate it. And, of course, no coincidence, after I get shown something that I think, wow, is that even a thing? I get handed a book or someone recommends a show or something like that that's doing the same thing or talking about the same thing that I just learned to confirmation for me that it's right. So. Yeah, I definitely learned how to trust my intuition and the difference between imagination and intuition. Mm. I learned, yes, that you can learn how to. That's why I, I do, I'm going to talk about mentoring, my mentorship program soon. That's what I teach people because if you just because you haven't been doing it since you were five doesn't mean you can't learn how to grow your intuition, whether you want to do it as business or just to help you in your everyday life. Um, yeah, there's so many things, but that's amazing. <laughs> that's what's yeah, probably. Yeah there now like I could talk about everything there are so many things but uh but you know I would probably challenge you on that with the uh, the natural born stuff because uh, because you and I have talked a little bit you've been on the radio with uh with me and we've uh we've we've uh you know talked about uh, this in in other live sessions and as you said at the start of this session you were always drawn to the tarot you yes. were all, you were given a tarot and a, and a and a crystal. I know you know we talked about the the letter to your grandfather. So I would say that uh, you actually had that gift, but uh, yes. that you just didn't develop it until a little bit later. That's right. Fully That's develop right. it, but it was already there. <laughs> I do agree, but most people like if you if you're someone that is interested in this stuff. Oh yeah. Go and get readings yourself. That means you've done it before. You would definitely. Have you wouldn't be interested in it if there wasn't a funny history, whether it's this life or a past one. You've done it before. You have the yeah. skills ready. And that's why so many people, when they get readings, the psychic will usually tell them that they have psychic ability. They're not just saying that to pull your chain or make you feel good. It's <laughs> up because that's what that's what it is. Like, it's yeah. just not going to be there otherwise. So. I agree. And just uh, so tell us a little bit more then about the spiritual light mentoring, because, you know, if this resonates with uh, our audience and for those that are attracted uh, to you and uh, and your spiritual mentoring, as you said, they are absolutely uh, already in your tribe. You're going to attract the people. As I love how you said that. You get, you, you learn what you are ready for. That is just awesome. So tell us more about the mentoring. Well, that's another quote that I like to do with mentoring. Then I the love it. Student is ready, the teacher appears. Yes, <laughs> yes. So you, you depends on who you mesh with. You're going to learn from all different people. I've had many different mentors, some for a long time, some for a short time. And so I wanted to be able to do that because then one day I just sort of realised that I can be a mentor now. <laughs> yes. And I teach in a certain way and I have a certain bedside manner that people would relate to. And I can combine, like a lot of them are things I've learned from others into a mentorship program so I have one for beginners um, you can check them out on my website it explains a bit more about them so the beginner one is, is basically you know you might just be interested you've had readings before and then you don't know where to start you haven't learned anything really yet so that's seven lessons over I like to rec I recommend over 14 weeks so you've got a couple of weeks to integrate um, they're just for one hour a lesson but it's one-on-one -on -one time with me teaching you everything I know so you get to practice on me. I do healings for you. So you're getting a treatment every time as well, which is great. So it costs the same um, as it would be if you were seeing me for an hour. But it's, yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, picking my brain. and I'm sharing just everything, taking notes, recording it, whatever you want to do. And you get to practice in a space where you don't feel intimidated. Well, hopefully I don't, I don't intimidate anybody. But so far, the people I've done it for have loved it. 
give me really great feedback. Um, I'm just tweaking a few things, but I, which I really enjoy. Um, yeah, and so then you then by the time I even help with setting up your business and stuff as well, so you can get started, and how you can get started to practice to actually see clients as well by the end of that. So you can be working um, by the yeah. end of that. And then I have another version if you've already like an if you're already doing healing in some way, but you want to. There might be something that I do that you would like to learn about. So maybe you do lots of different modalities and maybe you do say massage and Reiki and things like that, but you'd like to learn about past lives or um, you want to learn how to cleanse and connect in a different way. Maybe the style that I do it in, which is a, you might be drawn to that. So then we I have a chat with you and we work out what do you know already and what do you want to learn? And we just tailor a program to suit you. So it might not be the whole like hold seven lessons. It might just be two or something. So we just work it out what's best for the both of us or maybe whatever and um, teach you what you need to, to sort of um, polish what you're doing already, which is really good. Mm, so that's very cool. On to um, then be part of my group, the optimistic group, and then I would recommend clients to you if I'm busy, things like that as well, and we'd be part of a team. So there's an opportunity for that too if everything goes well. Fantastic. And then, of course, uh, before we can't get out of uh, this beautiful uh, showcase your biz session without mentioning Twin Flame, you're also available for love readings, also available available for uh, Twin Flame with your partner, Daniel. Yes, yes. Daniel's Daniel. hanging around here at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> what is Twin Flame? A twin, yeah, yeah, so Twin Flame, um, there's a lot of misconceptions out there about twin flames and I'm in a few groups and so many people are saying, where's my twin flame and all this kind of stuff. Um, it doesn't matter if you have a twin flame or not because not everybody has one. And so it's, it's a set number of them out there in the world. And it's really de dependent on what your reason is for coming to earth at this time. We all have different reasons. And so not everyone's reason is to find the twin flame. It happened to be mine in this life and many of my other lives. And that's what we've been doing. It's what I've had so many. We've always been trying to find each other and sometimes you would and you'd miss each other or the age gap's too big or other side of the world or your brother and sister or whatever I don't know there's been 150 at least reasons um so this time we finally came together later in life after we had our children um and then we're stronger together so you're you're not incomplete with that you twin flame you just expand bigger <laughs> when you're together so we're stronger together um even though we're whole and complete on our own but we love to help people who are interested in twin flames, to, I can, we can let you know if you have one. I tune in to see that. Um, if not, it doesn't matter because we'll help you with your finding the right soulmate for you, um, helping you work on your own self-love and yourself because that's how you get anywhere anyway. You need to be completely balanced and happy with you to attract the right um, partner or relationship to yourself because you, you often reflect how you feel about yourself. So if you think back to past relationships, how did you think about yourself? Did you put yourself down? Were you loving yourself sick? And was that reflecting on what your partner would say about you or think about you? So, you know, getting to think about that kind of stuff. Lots of healing. So we love doing it together because our energy is more intense. Just talking together. Some people just having a conversation with us will just feel different when we leave, even if we're not doing a healing. So that's really cool. And that's what happens with other twin flames too. We'll talk about it forever. <laughs> I know it's so so interesting. It's so interesting, and so for all of this, uh, we've got the link to uh, we've got the link to uh, Optimistic Xavier's um, Facebook uh, community uh, already in the post, and um, you know we can find you. Uh, your website is optimisticxavier.com. Dot au. Yep. Dot au. I'll go back actually and uh, and put that into uh, yeah. uh, put that link into the post as well. And of course, uh, you know we've got uh, a, a, you know we've got a beautiful uh, post that runs uh, a couple of times a week in uh, on Spiritual Events Directory page. So if our audience uh, wants to connect with Xavier, you can do so in a number of uh, in in all of those uh, different ways. So Xavier, you know what do you love? What do you really love about what you do? I love helping teach people just how to be happy, how to love life and how to manifest the life you deserve. That's really, that's why I'm here <laughs> in this life. Just, just helping you find the joy in every day and learning to make life work for you instead of against you. And then realizing sometimes you think that the world's against you and the universe has got something against you, but it's not, it's actually helping you when it makes you uncomfortable. 
it's trying to get you to move because you're in the wrong space. And I, I know that's why my jobs, I had so many different jobs before I did this and I never liked them. They never stuck. I'd get bored. And now I know the universe is trying to, oh, I had a bad boss. The universe is just trying to nudge me because I was in the wrong area. I could have been doing this work younger, but I wasn't listening. Yeah. So I had another 10 years experience under my belt if I had have paid attention back <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I love it and you know we do have some people that have tuned in live um Xavier and uh, Lisa says uh, oh wow I would love to do this where are you at where am I at where, where are you located I think she means I'm based in um Epping so I live in Wallet and I'm based in Epping um I can definitely do everything online and soon we should be able to open and I should be able to see people in person again I'm very excited about that because um, I think I can't do online is massage <laughs> so I do yes. need to work as well but um yes so online is fine otherwise I'm in Epping mm, fantastic so well uh, yeah just before we go just to uh, to recap uh you know the beautiful Xavier optimistic Xavier and uh and Xavier is a psychic medium energy healer massage therapist also uh, theater healer theater healer past life um past life healer and uh, and spiritual mentor. So uh, to connect with Xavier, she's available for one-on-one, -on -one, she's available for reading, she's available to uh, for teaching as well. So uh, you can connect with her uh, mm -hmm. by joining her on Facebook, going to her uh, website or um, yeah, just, uh, you know, put your comments uh, on this post and, um, and uh, we can answer those inquiries. So yay, what would you like to leave our audience with uh, as we, uh, Oh, actually, today I was going to say that you are actually part of uh, the Seven Sisters Festival, so they can actually connect with you. You're available for readings. Yes, yes. If you, I think you can still buy tickets, even though it started. Um, yeah. It's great. Um, like tonight, there's some great classes. I'm joining in on one that's really fun um, called Sacred Seductress. I'm going to do some sexy dancing later. Yay. Um, <laughs> on tomorrow as well. So, but if you've got a ticket and you attend, you can um, book in with. Um, myself and many other healers and readers and, and um, people to for half price and you can use that over the next six months you don't have to book in straight away you book this week for any time in the next six months but I've got some bookings tomorrow already so really oh that's fantastic oh well I better go and get on to that because I've got a ticket as well oh awesome yeah. two that you want there's astrologers and me and um there's so many different kinds of people, which is, they're just beautiful. And I use, I've been to the Seven Sisters. I've worked there the last three years in person. And it's just such beautiful energy. So it's so good that we they came up with a way to do it online, which is really yeah. great. Very, very cool. Yeah, very, very cool. All right, uh, Xavier, thank you so much for coming in to uh, showcase your biz. We're absolutely thrilled to uh, put you on that uh, stage and, uh, you know, um, put the focus on you because you are amazing. Thanks, so are you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love you, darling. Okay, so thank you to uh, the audience uh, for watching now and those tuning in later. I want you to connect with uh, Xavier and we shall see you next time in some other space. Bye. <laughs>